in a relationship, should you really have a backup plan? There is new research that shows half of all women have a guy on the back burner just in case things go wrong in their current relationship. Hey, yo, what up? Be okay in this motherfucker. Now let's watch this shit. Pause. Now, after the first person, it would have been no more new recordings. Just to let you know. But let's keep it going. Now, this is person number two at this point. You understand what I'm saying? As a grown man, you didn't put up a camera in your wife's house and you caught her multiple times with other individuals that is not. Hey, bro, come on, man. The mere fact that you had to put up a camera lets you know that you never trusted her, right? And if you didn't trust her, why didn't you have either a conversation with this woman or leave the relationship? Because right now, what she doing is not enough to secure her womanhood and it's not enough to secure your manhood. You understand what I'm saying? This type of thing makes people insecure. It destroys, you know, your confidence and your self-esteem. For you to keep allowing this to go on and to just keep recording and collecting data this much, at a certain point, you gotta ask yourself, what am I even doing this for? But let's keep it going. <laughs> again dog this is the third person and what make it even worse is that these ain't even the same people these are different people fam you're not gonna tell me that you you met her and you thought she was one of the greatest women of all time and that you didn't see the red flags fam you don't allow these things to happen and record these things and bring it up because Come on now, she is not finna, she don't respect you or that relationship. And you can't respect yourself if you allow this woman to stay in your household or you allow this woman to, or you allow yourself to be a part of this relationship still and keep her I don't care if you, you know, you intimate with her or not. The mere fact that y'all still have a relationship and you still collecting data after she done been with Tom, Dick, and Harry is like, come on, man. Are you serious right now, bro? You cannot be serious right now. Uh, like I said, after recording and being with a woman or a, a, a human or a, a girl so long, fam, you begin to, 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 to suffer from beta mentality. You understand what I'm saying? Because right now, this, this type of thing is happening worldwide, fam. You heard at the beginning of the video, you heard what they said. Most people have, a lot of these women have other men as a backup plan because they themselves are insecure. They always self-sabotage relationships because they know they do not have any value, fam. When a woman does not bring anything to the table, bro, Nine times out of 10, she gonna cheat on you, not because you're not man enough, but because she's not woman enough, bro. Because she can't see herself committing to a relationship. Because she's never seen that a day in her life, nine times out of 10. She's always disrespected man, nine times out of 10. She probably never had a real relationship with her father, fam. So she can't see or notice when a real father figure is in her life. But when you record women like this, you exemplify, you know, uh, not father figure characteristics. You exemplify boyish characteristics. You know, somebody who doesn't trust a lady, somebody who has no trust for a woman. You understand what I'm saying? Both of y'all don't trust each other. 
and both of y'all probably cheating on each other. I don't know if the man is cheating on a woman at this point, but at the end of the day, right now, the relationship is suffering. Both minds are suffering. Nobody is accomplishing anything. It don't matter how many videos you record, she is not going to own up to what she's doing, fam. But let's keep it going. Come on, man. You didn't watch four different individuals allegedly WWE latest SmackDown, and you just like what? What did you get? You didn't get anything out of recording this. I don't know if you wanted to watch it later, like oh yeah, my baby likes because you know there's men that like to watch their woman cheat on them, and it turns them on. I just want y'all to know that a lot of men like to watch they women cheat on them because it turns them on bro because they themselves feel it's it's filling a void within their soul because it's all they know and so they attracted to you like what you know bro you do what you know if you know no better you're not gonna do no better if you don't know better you're not gonna do better if you knew better you would do better but he probably didn't know any better so he probably felt like he was not going to get anything better. So to record her in secrecy maybe was something that he wanted to keep for himself so that he can turn himself off. You never know, dog. Because if you're going to keep recording this woman, right? And, 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 don't, and, it, and it don't even, you never know how many more men she probably dealt with. You know what I'm saying? But if you keep recording a woman like this, you got to ask yourself, what am I getting out of this? What is going on in my head to make me feel like I need to keep recording her with these individuals, bro? Why is this something that, you know, you doing, man? You don't do things like this, bro. You don't do things like this if you want to rectify the situation. You don't. You need to let her go you need to just let her go. Ain't no or, bro. Just let her go. Because she does not respect the relationship. She don't respect herself, bro. And neither do you.